The name of a great Russian artist, humanist, philosopher and a public figure Nicholas Rurik is closely connected with Siberia, the importance of which he always emphasized. Great Siberia is magnetizing, wrote the artist, mesmerized by the beauty of Siberian vast expanses while visiting this land in 1926. Since 90s, there has been a cultural and educational institution in Novosibirsk, the Siberian Rurik Society, the founder of which is a person of great spiritual culture, a well-known poet and public figure, Natalia Dmitrievna Spirina. With the help of scientific and cultural organizations, people from different places in Russia and abroad, the Siberian Rurik Society has built two significant cultural establishments concerned with the name of Nicholas Rurik in Novosibirsk and in the Altai Republic. In the center of Novosibirsk, there is a beautiful light green building, the museum, named after our great fellow countryman, Nicholas Rurik. It is culture that will peacefully unite people, insisted Nicholas Rurik. Through culture, you'll get light, he wrote, manifesting the concept of culture as light worship. Natalia Spirina, an inspirer and initiator of the idea of building this Rurik Museum, saw it not only as a storehouse of artistic values and archives, but also as an active centre of drawing bright future closer. The museum welcomes its visitors. Among them are admirers of Rurik's art, guests of the capital of Siberia, children from schools and kindergartens, young people, students. The museum lives its full and interesting life. Its visitors from the very first minutes get into another world, far away from the city noise and fuss. This is the world of beautiful images, ancient legends and myths, the world of wonderful mountains, which could be painted so only by Rurik. This world is filled with the noble thoughts of the artist, the dreams of bright future for the mankind. In his many-sided art, Rurik combined Oriental wisdom and Western culture. What has been done by him goes far beyond our conception of human potential, said the Siberian scientist, academician Okladnikov about Rurik. The museum excursion program is enlarged by subject videos and slide programs about the Ruriks, their philosophical and artistic heritage, about great devotees, about nature and space. Children are told in an interesting and simple way about pictures of the great artist how heroes and devotees changed the life on our planet, about beauty and justice of laws of the universe. The museum photo exhibitions let the visitors get acquainted with the Ruriks, who are called the Great Russian Family. Elena Rurik, the artist's wife, his friend, companion, and inspirer of all his undertakings, Nicholas Rurik said that all his works should have been signed by two names, a male and a female. Elena Rurik was a brilliant musician, translator, philosopher and a public figure. The Ruriks had two sons. The elder son, George, Yuri, was a worldwide known Orientalist one of the greatest scientists with encyclopedic knowledge of East and West. The younger son, Svetoslav Rurik, was a gifted artist, scientist and a public figure. He made a great contribution to consolidation of peace and friendship between Russia and India. Svetoslav Rurik's pictures are peculiar and original. Jawaharlal Nehru called Svetoslav's art a feast of beauty. 
His amazingly beautiful canvases are a true symphony of color, joy, and art. Let us always strive for beauty, said Svetoslav Rurik, and he made these words the motto of his whole life. Some photo exhibitions held in the museum are devoted to Nicholas Rurik's closest disciple, Paris Abramov, and Abramov's disciple, the founder of the Siberian Rurik Society and Rurik Museum, Natalia Spirina. Natalia Dmitrievna Spirina was a great researcher of the life and activities of Rurik and a public figure well known in Russia and abroad. Thanks to her, Rurik's name became widely known in Siberia. Her poetic heritage is beautiful. A great part of it is devoted to the artist's pictures. On this land we can see the distant world's gleams. We can learn of them through your wondrous creations. All your canvases draw us away from our gloomy dreams to eternal life of beauty, unearthly and gracious. In the museum, one can hear classical music. The musicians note not only excellent acoustics of the concert hall, but also a special creative atmosphere of the museum. The exhibitions held in the museum grow bigger in size. Beside permanent main exhibits devoted to Nicholas and Svetoslav Rurik's art, there are also exhibitions welcoming Siberian artists who reveal the beauty of the Altai, Siberia and many other wonderful places of our motherland. Many of these artists consider Rurik not only a great painter, but also an outstanding thinker whose philosophic views greatly influenced their development. They consider it a great honor to exhibit their works in the museum. A great appreciation of the museum's activities was given by a Siberian scientist, academician Lavrentiev. He said, the Museum of Nikolai Konstantinovich Rurik will be one of the natural ways of bringing people together. It will be an outpost of that culture, which will be playing a decisive role in the way people will be thinking in the nearest decade. Nicholas Rurik believed that the sense of beauty will save the world. The Novosibirsk Museum staff do their best to let every visitor take away a piece of beauty in his or her heart, the beauty which was glorified by the great artist. The Museum of Nicholas Rurik in an old Altai settlement, Verkhny Ulmon. In 1926, the Central Asian expedition, arranged by Rurik, arrived at the Altai. By that time, the expedition had covered a great distance from India via the Himalayas, Tibet and China to Russia. The artist's wife and elder son also took part in that expedition. Rurik as a scientist was interested in the Altai as the center of Eurasia, as he said, an equal distance from the four oceans. Here, in the center of the Altai, in the most northern point of the Central Asian mountain range, there is the highest peak of Siberia and the Far East, Bilucha. Civilization didn't change the Altai much, and it became a peculiar museum in the open air. Here Rurik studied antiquities, traditions, customs, and the history of the great migration of nations. In Verhini Rimon, Rurik stayed at an old believer at Amanov's house. The expedition became an important event for the villagers. The old residents still keep in memory those wonderful people who had visited this place and studied Altai culture, history and nature. One can say that Rurik revealed the Altai to the whole world. 
he predicted a great future to the Altai. The house where the artist stayed has been restored by the Siberian Rurik Society. It became a memorial house museum of Nicholas Rurik. Now it is a cultural and historic site, not only of this village, but also of the whole Altai region, and draws crowds of visitors here. A worn-down road off the main highway can't prevent people who are eager to see the museum from coming to explore this historic place. The stream of visitors is especially big in summer. Then, the museum is open from morning till night, attracting people who are interested in Rurik's heritage from different cities in Russia and abroad. The Memorial House Museum of Nicholas Rurik in Verkhnyuymon is included in the list of the most valuable monuments of the Altai culture and is an important destination point of domestic and international tourism. The two museums of Nicholas Rurik on the Siberian land, in Novosibirsk and in the Altai, pay tribute to the great artist who painted his pictures in the name of beauty, kindness and prosperity of culture in the whole world.